You are watching our new series on Tactical Enlightenment, When Things Go Badly, created to show situations where my tactical plans either failed altogether or the enemy overcame them and we were forced to adapt to changing battlefield conditions. Hopefully this series inspires in you an even stronger desire to always fight on and persevere in the face of extreme challenges. All right, friends, welcome back again to another episode of Tactical Enlightenment. This YouTube channel is dedicated to helping you get better at Bannerlord through the use of field tactics and command. And we are heading towards a city to defend here. I'm doing some last minute upgrades of some troops. I'm going to recruit a bunch of prisoners here. And then we're going to take a, take a look here and see what kind of forces attacking Ortizia. Uh, in our, com our campaign, we're fighting seven of the eight kingdoms including this kingdom the western empire uh so this is interesting so they also are sending a large force this way over 2000 i'm not prepared to handle that right yet because i might not be able to to attack that and then make a defense of ortesia so we're going to just head towards ortesia and see see what happens here see if they're heading off in a different direction it's come sometimes it's hard to know they might be heading for an entirely different different city to defend. Ortizia still has a couple hundred defenders. No, they're still coming. Well, our clan members are cranking out future murderers. That's good, because we're going to need them at this rate. Here's another force. This is Valandia. Okay, so we now have a Valandian force, twice our size, a Western Empire force, three times our size, and I saw an Asurai force there of over 2,000. But what is going on here? We are fucked. Now I'm fucked. Okay. So they have converging forces here. I'm forced to fight here. Uh, if you don't know that the slower units individually like that, of course, are much faster. I just simply can't outrun that unit. So uh, we're going to play at normal player damage here um, and see how this goes. This is this will probably fall under our freestyle series. What a strange battlefield this is. Okay, we got a ridge here. Landy, of course, typically has a lot of heavy cavalry, right? That's going to be one of the primary concerns. What is this shit? There's like a, a land bridge down here. I wonder if we can get across that. I think, I think we will use uh, either that slope. I'm not sure, actually. Sometimes you go into battle and you're just not sure what kind of tactics you're going to use, what kind of approach you're going to take. Melandia typically has a lot of cavalry. Um, we're going to even out our units here a little bit. I do have a chance of a reverse slope defense right there. I can position troops. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. The angles are going to be challenging. Uh, but the reverse slope defense, peekaboo ridge defense, I've called it in the past, is basically where you have troops positioned at the base of this ridge. And the idea is to assault the enemy as soon as they poke their head over it. Now, of course, that can be difficult against uh, a cavalry-heavy uh, force like Valandia. So we're going to stretch out uh, cav wings here. And then I'm going to uh, kind of make my units in a big arc down here. It'll be difficult for their cav to get... Oh, shit. It'll be difficult for their cav to get to us without pushing their way through our other units. And we'll be able to shoot, shoot them with a lot of arrows. Of course, our army tends to be archer-heavy. Uh, looking at the composition, we have a little bit more archers than infantry, but it's pretty balanced. Let's see what they're doing here. See if they're even approaching. Oh, yeah. They're approaching in a wide arc, which is not good. In a perfect world, that we would be able to channel them right over this sort of middle area there, but that's that doesn't seem to be happening. If I could get them to come over here, then I could channel them a little bit better, right? This may not go well. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you try things in battle, right? Sometimes you 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 try a plan, uh, and it just totally fails on you. Uh, I've got a cav line here. Their cav is charging hard. That's ominous. Time to open fire here. I've got my infantry on the right wing with a cav wing as well. They're taking forever to get into place, though. Hurry the fuck up, guys. Enemy lords are fucking attacking. Well, at least I wiped out her horse. Uh, the enemy is just streaming over this ridge. At least we're pounding them, though. Our archers are doing a good job. What the fuck? They are spreading out units in a big, wide archer. This is highly abnormal. Uh, 
this unit is, this cab unit is pretty well tucked in here, holding them back. Fuck, they've got these archers already putting over the ridge. I've got too many targets here. The, the enemy is too wide. They're in too big of an arc uh, for this to really work well. Nah, now I got myself jammed in here. Fuck. This may be one of those episodes where we just get routed and captured and I don't even record it. We shall see. We're getting a lot of kills. That the good thing is our archers are doing a lot of good work. Our 8th Corps looks like they're getting kills. But this does not look good. I'm moving some units back here. We're going to do a little bit of kiting. I think... I think it might be... Uh, it's, it's very tenuous. These guys are pushing up. This is one of those situations where, honestly, folks, I don't know what to do. I, I've got that land bridge I could retreat to, but on the retreat, we're going to get mauled. Any kind of retreat against Belandia with their heavy cav, uh, you're going to take a beating, and we're right in their face. I, I think we're just going to... God, it's over there. It's a long ways to go, though. I think we just have to slug it out here. Sometimes... Sometimes you gotta dance with the gal you took to the prom, even if it turns out she's got halitosis. Uh, in we go here, we're trying to push them back. Hey, they're, they can't be routing. I think they're reforming. This is exactly our opportunity to change tactics. Uh, ordinarily, retreating in the face of all these archers and heavy cav would be suicidal, but that this is our opportunity here, perfect. Okay, let's get a cav unit here as a, a distraction area, effectively, uh, uh, we're going to effectively use them as bait. We'll pull these guys back, use them as bait, and get the fuck out of here. All right, let's start moving units across that land bridge. I think I can target all the way across there. Those guys are going now. We'll put them in line formation so they move the fastest. This has got to be done quickly. That flurry of commands, uh, I can't always enumerate everything I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'll do the best I can when I'm playing these, of course. There's already a lot to focus on. Now that I've made the move, though, I can tell you I moved everybody except my second and third cavalry. My third cav is in a big, wide arc here in Shield Wall. And I'm hoping if the enemy pursues here with their cav, uh, it'll be a deterrent. It'll slow down a lot of them. It'll buy us some time. You can see our troops are sort of trudging here. I don't know why my units are moving so slow today. Sometimes it just seems like units move slowly. When we get across this land bridge here, we might be able to make a choke point, uh, tie up their cavalry, shoot them full of arrows, and maybe maybe start to reverse reverse this battle. We definitely put a whipping on them uh, in that first part, but then once they started stretching out, they really enveloped our lines, uh, and it just became obvious that that was not going to work. You know, you've got to be prepared to change your plans, right? What was it, Mike Tyson? Uh, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth, right? He's one of the one of the most least intelligent human beings I've ever seen. You, all you got to do is listen to one of his, his fight speeches. Uh, but he comes up with this brilliant quote. Sometimes your your plan just, just doesn't pan out. Fucking assholes. They came in a really wide arc. I was expecting them to come more direct. A lot of a lot of the times the enemy, when they outnumber you especially, they come in hot and heavy towards the center, and it would have held a lot better. But they came in a very wide arc. Well, we've bought our time. Uh, them pulling back to reform was a gift. Uh, and it gives us a chance to try, try a choke point here. That's a beautiful scene. The light is incredible. Uh, a few months ago, not a few months ago, a few weeks ago maybe, maybe it was a month ago, I started using this mod, this time pass mod. And so what happens actually during battles is time actually passes, just like, like real life. Like the, 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 the vanilla model, unfortunately, of banner life, the sun will sit in the same position the whole time. All right, better bring these cav back. I just sent those guys up to charge away their cav. This is interesting, though. The enemy is playing defensive, which is not going to... not. That's going to... What was it? Walter Sobchak and the Big Lebowski? Nah, man, that fucks up our plan. We're going to we're gonna try to bait them. I'm going to pull way back here. I'm not... This is not a, a permanent positioning. I'm pulling my units back here because the enemy attacked us. They're, they... 
should they should cross here if we pull back far enough. I think what's happening is, yeah, I can hear guys getting shot. What's happening is they're shooting our units still. Crossbowmen have a really long range. And of course, they're up on that high hill, which I, I would rather be defending that high hill, but it is what it is. And so they're not gonna engage us while they can keep shooting us. So I have to pull our units way back here. Uh, now it looks like they're they're coming up. Let's, let's see what they do here. Just to finish the thought though, so this time pass, you can see how beautiful it is. It's like we're having an actual sunset for this battle. Uh, and the game is spectacularly beautiful already, but this mod, uh, I mean, just makes it off the charts beautiful, right? You can literally see the sun setting right now. All right, so here's our plan here. It, it seems like they're gonna cross. I hope they cross with all their units. I hope their crossbowmen come across. If they don't, we will we will fight whatever comes across. But if they all come across, we're going to bum rush them. We're going to charge with Cav, our 8th Corps, and we're going to quickly position archers on this ridge to pound them kind of in limbo. They'll be like halfway across. They'll, their units will be tightly packed together. And I think we'll be able to do major damage. Uh, I mean, this was my original plan. They just wouldn't move up, though. So a flurry of orders there. I can't, again, I can't enumerate, enumerate it all. But I guess I just had to bait them in, though. You just, I just had to, you know, again, when, you're, when your second plan fails, try again. I got some cav across the water there. We'll send some units to attack just to, just to counter. But now, okay, they're shooting at us. But they're in a very precarious position. What the fuck? Some of these maps are, they're not optimal. We'll put it that way. My, my guy just hit, like, something invisible and froze to death. We got to get our units up here. I can't be worried about these 20 cab behind me. I've, I've got to. I've got to take care of this. There's like 600 Valandians, maybe 700, jammed up on this land bridge. We need to attack aggressively. Their archers won't have very good line of sight on the units that are attacking directly on the land bridge. So we got to get in there and attack. I apologize if you hear the clicking or the keyboard. I'm typing furious orders to my to my units, of course. And again, I, I continue to try to provide uh, narration while I'm doing these these flurry of orders. It's quite difficult, so bear with me. Now you can see it's literally getting darker as the sun sets. Let's get in here. Hurry these fucking guys in here. I'm bringing up melee units. I'm bringing up archers on hold fire to attack. Their infantry is charging. We need to push them back so that we can force our way into their crossbow. Let's get in here. Now my units face to face with their units will win. We have higher level units at this stage. Well, we'll see. They still have some high level units. I better not I better not count my chickens before they hatch. And they're making an aggressive push on us here. But I think it's time to charge. See, their crossbowmen are totally fucking bound up. If we can get in there, I mean we can slaughter those crossbowmen. To send some cav across aggressively here. Try to basically prevent them from spreading out and shooting us on this side. And as soon as we puncture through this infantry, which we're about to do, we're going to charge like crazy at that crossbow core. I just heard their units say call ba uh, fall back. That's like our cue to charge. Fucking red meat to a, a great white shark. Looks like their crossbows deciding to charge. We like this. I mean, they have good units in there, Batanium Thean Champs, but most of them are, are not very good melee units. And we still have the 8th Corps. There's a lot of the 6th six, Corps. Our elite skirmishers are alive. We, ah, shit, sorry, dude. You ran right in front of my fucking javelin. What can I say? Look at it. They're, they're totally fucking panicking. Now I can get archers spread out on that hill. Get the fuck up here, this 5th Corps. Okay, they're getting reinforcements, but we got to aggressively attack this these retreating crossbow. I mean, we can slaughter half of them on the way out of here. I need a horse. I wish I, I wish a random horse would run by right now. Instances like this, sometimes I'll take a horse. I'll call in my seventh core. Yeah, that scared me for a second. I thought that was one of their guys about to spear brace me. Uh, so I've called the horse searchers to me. I'm going to basically borrow a horse here. This is a little carjacking. I'm trying to move my units up aggressively, quickly. 
Yeah, the, the sky is getting more and more beautiful. It's like a fucking picturesque scene. All right, give me a horse. God, they're getting up that hill. We got to attack. I wish they would attack with my fury. Like, I, I wish you could tell your units, emulate what I'm doing, because I'm, I'm going to show these fucks what to do with bound up, retreating fucking Vlandy and crossbow. You fly in here like a fucking raving lunatic, and you kill everything that your axe can reach. Even if you knock them to the ground, that's effective. We're doing 30 every guy we knock to the ground. I wish my calf was just charging through here, trampling everything to pieces. Now it's a question of initiative. Can I get our units set up here on this ridge before they they turn around and prepare? Oh, look at how beautiful the sky is. I almost want to pause the game and just enjoy the sunset. God, I've only got like a third of my units to the top of this ridge. The good thing though is they're still reforming and now I have a cab screen wall in front of them to absorb a lot of their arrows. They're really bunch, bunched up here in the middle. This is a, a classic uh, flank turning possibility here. Look how thickly bundled up they are. So we're ho literally holding the line here with like 40 guys. You can see the little illuminated balls. My guys are taking forever to get over this hill. I think I think in the last battle, I think it was a, a battle that was going to be uh, less movement and more damage. I think I switched a lot of the banners to, to reduce damage instead of movement. We're going to spread out archers here on the enemy right flank. We're going to get an infantry division up, and then I think we're going to charge the side of the enemy force here with Cav. I think I have about 40 Cav healthy, and I've got probably 10 members of the 8th Corps. With the enemy bundled up like that, their archers really aren't shooting that effectively. I'm going to bring in my Cav Corps here, my third, or excuse me, my second, my eighth, and my seventh, and basically just kamikaze to the side of the enemy here. Try to pin them down. Try to prevent them from sh from sh spreading, uh, spreading out. Try to prevent them from shooting. It's dangerous, of course, and I'm at half health, but fucking no guts, no glory, right? They're pixels, folks. Kill them. All right, in go am eighth core. We give them the order to charge. The rest of the infantry now has been bought time to charge the rest of the enemy. We charge recklessly. It's a huge force. But we kill. These guys are taking forever. Two hundred and sixty archers. They only have sixty infantry. We need to just bore into this. I remember Marshal, uh, no, it was Napoleon, told one of his marshals before one of the battles, it was obvious they needed to be aggressive, and he was like, bore into this thick mass, whatever the cost. Considering that was bungled so badly, God, this was a massacre. Hopefully I convinced you to check out this time pass mod. I mean, it, it, isn't that incredible? It went from like a, a sort of bright, sunny afternoon to this beautiful scene, and we enjoyed uh, a very nice comeback here in this battle might call this like uh, you know uh, some kind of comeback anyways I appreciate you guys for watching um, we're gonna continue trying to do stuff here tactical enlightenment with, with uh, interesting tactics we're gonna use some, some historical tactics anything that'll work in Bannerlord of course we're going to use uh, we're gonna avoid the exploits I know some people they, they've talked about defending a castle with like 70 people against 4,000 using exploits well I'm not interested in exploiting a way to victory um, you know we're gonna try to we're gonna try to fight these battles uh, for real. We're gonna we're gonna try to fight them in a realistic manner uh, and win with actual tactics that you know that that uh, both people have used throughout history and of course apply directly to Banner Lord. So uh, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more from our channel. Um, we're gonna continue on with this campaign. It's gotten extremely difficult. Um, I'm going to continue to try to do tutorials. I get a lot of questions about specific tactics we're showing, so I'll do my best, folks. Um, please comment if you're interested in something specific, and I'll talk to you friends next time.